No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. So what's really cool about the film industry now is DMX is exploding. It's taking up all over the place. Uh, but a lot of us are on our iPods and on other sort of functions. Now, I know that you created, Bert, this thing called the Gaffer's Control, which essentially allows me to link more than just eight DMX lights on my iPad. But now you've incorporated analog controls, custom presets. Why don't you tell me all about it? Well, we went direct with the iPads. You always have to set up a Wi-Fi network, and we found out that Wi-Fi is the weakest link in, our, in this process. So you go first with Wi-Fi to a box, then from that box you send out wireless DMX uh, through Luma radio transmitters. And that's a stable uh, part, but the Wi-Fi is always a delay. There are, it's, on a set, there are always disturbances. Mm -hmm. So that's why we go directly from Luma radio from our box to the lights because Luma Radio always uh, selects the best position in the bandwidth to be in. So you first have to unlink the receiver at the light and then you can just uh, switch on the transmission on the gaffer's control and then you can just push link and then it's connecting. So it takes about 10 seconds and then it starts, it stops blinking and then the connection is made. This is now connected to uh, nine lights. I can, uh, at this point I can already do the intensity of the channels if you want to do something more with the light, you can just hit the, uh, but the fixture button and then it opens up and you get all the controls of this fixture profile. So here you can set, the, if you want to use the flash button or the fast turning, you can uh, select what the master has to do and disable the touch screen when needed. If I want to put up another light, I just deselect this one. I take a free fixture button edit and then I can just do search so if I want to put up a light I can just start typing select the light give it an address you can give it a name like key light Sorry. save it and then leave the edit menu and now we've got uh, you can control it with a knob or with a touch screen and you always get the same information here as what you could have on the um, display of the light itself. And we can also select multiple lights next to each other and now you can make a crossfade. If you want to do something more with the light at that point, you can just select the name tag, the fixture profile opens again, you can adjust what you want to adjust, exit and you're back in your selection. So what I sometimes do is I just select the lights my DOP wants to tweak during shot. I just select them next to each other, disable the screen, and then he can just tweak during shot. There are clicks in the button, and every click is 1%. Uh, there's, a, there's a different mode which allows me to do 2%. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that the only thing? So 1% without the gear, 2% to... with? It's just some people like to do the knobs operation and that it goes faster than normally. So that's why we've added now a gearbox to the rotaries. And will that do it with all my lights simultaneously or do I have to do each program light one at a time? You can do it with all lights simultaneously. As, uh, at the end of the day, when, you're, uh, when you just push and hold five seconds the link button, then you d disconnect all the paired receivers and then it's re ready for the next user to use. So I would advise a Luma radio receiver for every light because as soon as you start mingling with cables on a film set, you're always running around with the lights mm -hmm. and then it's nice when everything is wireless. Is it a firmware updates which will allow me to expand the roster of lights or is it linked to the internet in any way? We've created a client software that's, uh, so you can download all the fixture profiles from our repository and then you can uh, adapt them like you want. You can switch the channels left, right, uh, give them colors, other names. Uh, you can also create your own fixtures, put them in your library and then upload it to the Gaffer's Control. So I see this is essentially built into a Pelican case. Uh, what batteries does it take and how long will it last? It is a built-in lithium-ion battery, so it, r it runs up to 12 hours. Then you've got uh, 9 to 18 volts uh, power input, so you can use an external battery. It's a uh, USB for updating and uh, hardwired TMX out. And then we've created a small uh, C-stand adapter that you can just put it on a stand. 
the room, you're good to go. That's excellent. So are these shipping now? And if so, what's the price point? The price point is $32.99 in the States. And now with Scenic Gear, there's a promotion of $2,899. Man, that's crazy. And I essentially have all my DMX taken care of, all my lights pretty much taken care of for as long as they're making them like that. Yes, and even when there's new firmware updates from the manufacturers, we provide a new uh, software for it. So you can just always download the latest uh, profiles from our site.